Hi, Sean Higgins here. Welcome back to my channel. And you know the drill. Um, stick around. We'll uh, have a lot of fun information, but hit the likes, comments on this also. We're going to talk about contractors. I've had some great experience with con contractors. I've had a few bad ones. Usually it fell on me. In other words, hiring the wrong person. So how do you find the right contractor? And to me, it's always been kind of obvious in a lot of ways who uses a contractor the most and their paycheck relies on it. And that goes to real estate agents. So why does a real estate, well, they've a real estate agent depend on this is because they've got a project that's getting done or excuse me, a piece of real estate that's getting sold and certain things got to be fix, fixed in order to meet a deadline for a closing. And they got to have people that show up and do what they say when they um, say they're going to do it. And it has to pass inspection. So there's a couple of things, referrals, start building a team of contractors in the area. Okay. A contractor that can general contractor, subcontractors, roofing people, um, handy people, you know, there's handy people that, Hey, this is what we do. I had talked to my handyman, um, just a couple weeks ago. He said, need a hot water heater replaced. He's like, I don't do those. I said, really? He goes, no, no, you need to have this person over here. Boom. But he had people there because you know, we've done business together. That's really important. Also, believe it or not, go with your gut. If you've got somebody new working on a project, have them do a couple small things for you first. Let's see if they show up when they say they're going to show up. Let's see if they do the job, how they say they're going to do the job and, and um, on time and all that good stuff. Also, very important. Number three, find out how they want to get paid. Um, there's so many. I paid somebody last year with, with cryptocurrency, believe it or not. I mean, he was like, hey, I need some cash on this deal to do it right now. I said, can you get it done this weekend? He said, yes. And I said, I really don't have a way to get the money to you because he didn't accept some of the more conventional. And he goes, how about um, some Ethereum? And I I was done. I did that. Uh, that's a little offbeat, but I mean, again, do they take Zello? Do they take Zill, um, um, uh, Venmo? Um, all of those things. Credit cards. I love people that take credit cards. I have a stash of 0% interest credit cards that I use for these purposes. It's free money. Okay. You got to play that game. That's another video. Set benchmarks. When are you going to get it done? Here's one of the biggest problems I've had with new investors that are working with contractors. For some reason, there's this urban myth out there of painting somebody 50% up front. Never. Okay. Never. Um, very rarely do I actually give a contractor anything up front. They get to certain job points of the job. Once that's done, that's paid. Once that's done, that's paid. Once that's done, especially if we're pulling permits, if we have, if, if permits are necessary, they're being pulled because there's two things that have to happen before they can go on to phase of the job. It has to be in inspected. In fact, we've got a big project in uh, Joshua tree right now that tomorrow we've got first set of inspections going in there. Crews waiting when those inspections are over, boom, we go on to phase two, which is, um, uh, which is the framing of the project. So all of those things are nice. And once that's done, I've already, now that, that check goes out for that. Then we got the next phase, the check goes out for that, all that good stuff. So find out how they want to get paid and scope of work. That's what we're going to end on. What is exactly that you want them to do? Make, if it's not in writing, it's not going to get done. If it's not in writing, they're not going to get paid for it. I had somebody that said, oh, the floor was uneven. So I, I adjusted it and it went in $1,400. I'm going, okay, maybe it was, but you didn't ask me first. So now I had to rip up the flooring, show me that he did the work on it, send the photos and go back on there. But he actually appreciated what I was saying. He goes, I get it. You're not out here. Um, I'm going to say over the last 10 years, I've met personally face to face, eyeball to eyeball with exactly one contractor. Uh, most of this has been done by the phone. All of my approvals and everything are with photos. I mean, it's just gotten better and better with, with uh, all the Zoom and FaceTiming and all that good stuff. So here's some tips to hiring a contract. Works for me. It can work for you. Hit like, hit subscribe, make a comment. If you've got some points, pointers on contractors, I would love to hear them. And we'll pass that on to everybody else. God bless. Good luck. Ciao.